Hello everyone, this is Grizzly Bear here at Sparkfell Electronics, and even though Halloween was yesterday, we decided to continue the antics today for a very special Friday new product post. As you can see in front of me, we've got these four nice, beautiful robot chassis. Um, these are all from Dagu, the guys who make the Rover 5 platform, as well as the Wild Thumper, as well as the Magician chassis. So we've got kind of a nice in-between chassis for those of you that need something a little bit more robust than the Magician chassis, but maybe don't want to go up to the Wild Thumper, or maybe don't need the tank treads of the Rover 5. Here is what they're calling the basic chassis. These are all considered the multi-chassis because of this nice metal platform that they all have. It has a ton of different connection points and um, different places where you can attach all sorts of different sensors and things like that. Many of them have this battery holder that can be mounted on top and it gives you enough room over here to mount your driver boards or whatever. The basic one actually has four motors and four of the basic wheels. The top connects with just four screws right here. So once that's off, the whole top plate actually just comes off like this. And so you have the battery holder that is connected separately to this bracket so you could mount this remotely if you wanted. And here's what the inside looks like. We've got four little um, DC gear motors and I think these are like a 48 to 1, yeah, 48 to 1 ratio. And so these are nice little gear motors. They are um, plastic gear so you're not going to be able to do anything too crazy with these. But it's a nice sturdy little platform. It does come disassembled so if we look inside the box we get these individual components out of each one. So we've got the four wheels, we've got the battery holder, we've got the actual chassis which comes in the two pieces, we have the four motors, and then we have a couple a tools and some hardware to put it together. So you've got a nice little screwdriver, a couple of um, really tiny wrenches and some hardware. So that is what comes with it. It only takes um, two screws per motor to attach these to the plate and then you just attach some standoffs on the inside and then attach that on there and you're good to go. So it's pretty easy to put together. It doesn't take a lot of time and you don't even need any tools because it comes with everything you need. Now the ATV version looks very similar but has a couple of slight differences. You can see that has a little bit bigger wheel so that gives it a little bit more clearance for off-road and stuff. So this one actually has an all-metal output shaft. So if we were to crack open this gearbox you'd see that this whole output shaft and the gears associated with it are all metal. The rest of them are plastic, but on the basic chassis, this is all plastic through and through. The main output shaft has a little bit more durability, and because the wheel actually connects on with a screw, it's a little bit better for off-road or kind of more serious applications. So um, the wheel isn't going to slip or strip out, and you're less likely to strip the gears on the metal as well. So that brings us to the classic tank platform. Now this one only has two motors. So the others have had four motors for full independent drive. This one only has two on the back, and the front two wheels are just being driven by a bearing. So um, this one might be a little bit easier to drive since you've only got two motors to deal with. And this does have the metal output shaft that the ATV version does have. Still maintains the same platform, same battery connector, same motors as the ATV. It just only has two of them and has the tank treads. And lastly, we've got the rescue platform. The rescue platform actually has these two movable arms on the outside. It has this really clever mechanism where the tank treads are driven by one motor towards the rear, and this whole armature is actually driven by the one motor. And you've got the servo on the inside that control these outer arms like that. So this can actually pretty effectively climb up stairs or climb over obstacles, so you can go up like that and do all sorts of crazy things with it. It has the same platform as the others, same battery holder, same chassis. So we've got the servo motor here, and we've got this nice little linkage that controls the outside, and then the actual motors control the treads. Now another thing to mention is both this one and the tank platform actually use encoders mounted on the output shafts of the wheels. So you can see here we have this nice little magnetic disc that actually has little magnetic detents around it and we have a Hall effect sensor that's mounted right behind it. So we have wires connected right there 
So now we can actually read the positioning of the wheels and we can do nice things with the encoders and get exact positioning out of them. So if you're looking for a really inexpensive and versatile platform, check out any of these guys. They're all pretty cool and there's a lot of things you can do with them. And lastly, we have a new version of the PC Duino. This is the PC Duino Lite. If you're not familiar with PC Duino, it's a very similar board to something like the Raspberry Pi or the BeagleBone Black. It's just kind of these nice, powerful, all-in-one development platforms. PC Duino is interesting because it kind of has this Arduino header over here. You've got a couple of USBs. You've got HDMI out. It's a really versatile way to develop all sorts of different things. You can develop in Ubuntu, Android, all sorts of stuff. The light version is a little bit different than the standard PC Duino in that it's kind of stripped down and made a lot more inexpensive. So if we look at the back, we're actually missing the external RAM. So this one has a lot less memory than the other one does. Still enough to do most things. And so this is actually only $39.95 as opposed to $60. So it's a lot less money and it brings it closer to the price of a Raspberry Pi or something like that. So we only have these for a limited time offer. This was kind of a promotional thing that they're doing with the PC Duino and that they're trying to get it in more people's hands and get out there. So we have a one-time shipment of the light and that's all we're ever gonna have. So this is the only time you're ever gonna be able to get a PC Duino for $39.95. So you might wanna check one of these out. So be sure to check out all of the new multi-chassis, the ATV, the basic, the rescue platform, and the tank tread. And of course, be sure to check out the PC Duino Lite. These are a limited time offer, so make sure you get one of these before they run out. And if you're not familiar with PC Duino, definitely check out all the resources we have. We have some videos, some tutorials, and even a wiki. So if you want to learn more, check that out. And we'll see you again next week with even more new products.